I'm Dr. Benita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So I'm a doctor but I'm also a cosmetic formulator and that's why when I do a deep dive investigation I'm looking into their ingredients less. So often you get a lot of marketing um, and the marketing doesn't actually line up with the ingredients list. And so really this whole channel is here to empower you so you know the best ingredients for your skin, the best products for your skin and which ones to avoid. So I get asked all the time, yeah, but Dr. V, I mean, having skin of color, how does that mean that I would need different skincare? Well, here's the thing. With skin of color, we burn easily and we pigment easily. So with Caucasian skin, they could literally use Fraxel laser, burn off the whole top layer of skin and beautiful new skin will grow back with no pigmentation. With us, one mosquito can take down our skin. We can literally have one bite 10 years ago and our skin will remember because it will be producing more pigmentation in that one location. So for us, we have to be so careful. We have to be so intelligent with our skin. We need to know exactly what we're putting on our skin, you know? So that's really what this whole thing is about um i literally this whole channel is not even i don't even monetize this channel even though i've been eligible for months um we don't you know there's this is completely unendorsed evidence-based information for skin of color for us and for our children so my aim is to make us 1000 videos it literally covers every single skin condition every single brand i can get my hands on so that you are empowered so let's dive right into bio oil. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sure we've all heard about bio oil. Bio oil is this panacea, apparently, that basically cures everything. This is what their marketing says. It improves scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin. That's basically everything. So is this correct or is this all marketing bump? So in this video, what I'm going to do is basically break down the actives in bio oil and tell you the science behind them. And then I will also break down the skin conditions you're trying to get good results on and the best ingredients for it so that you know what you're looking for. Okay, starting off with their first ingredient, which is paraffinum liquidum. Okay, so this is a complex mixture of saturated hydrocarbons. It is non-irritating, it's a great emollient, and it's actually an occlusive, so it prevents any trans-epidermal water loss. And that is really fundamental, actually, for any for all of us, and especially as we age, we lose moisture in our skin, and what we really want to do is to occlude it, to prevent any water from evaporating from our skin. The fourth ingredient is isopropyl myristate, which is five out of 10 on the commodogenic scale. So I'd probably avoid on anyone who's got acne on their body, so back and shoulders, chest usually, I probably would avoid this product. Now the fifth ingredient here is retinol palmitate. Retinol palmitate is the weakest of all the vitamin A's. So what I would highly recommend is go and watch my vitamin A video to really fully understand the skincare royalty of the whole vitamin A family. Um, because yes, retinol palmitate is not going to irritate the skin, um, but it's also not the most effective. It's actually the least effective. And as the fifth ingredient, and for my for the body where the skin is already much thicker than the face, for example, it's not my favorite vitamin A to be honest. I would have said go for retinaldehyde. Yes, it's far more expensive, but it's twenty times as effective as retinol. Um, and it has zero irritation. So that would always be my preference um, for vitamin A and especially for the body where the skin's already thicker. So the sixth ingredient is great, is tocopherol acetate. It, that's an antioxidant, it mops up free radicals. Free radicals are the enemy when it comes to our skin. They are criminals and they need to be handcuffed because what they do is they damage our collagen and they lead to premature aging, which is something that none of us want. I'm 36 years old and I feel like every day I'm just fighting aging. Um, so yes, antioxidants are our best friends and they should definitely be in our skincare. Okay, so again, it's really great. They added four anti-inflammatories, uh, anti which is brilliant. It's, you know, good for, for skin of colour. It's good for all skin. But then they let themselves down massively because they went and added not one, but 10 fragrances. 
including Humarin and Geraniol, which is seven out of 10 on the irritant scale. Now, if you've watched enough of my videos, and I know you have, you will know what is the number one cause of contact dermatitis? Fragrance. Fragrance should not be in our skincare. It has no place in our skincare. It does nothing good for us. It's all bad. <laughs> so why? I mean, they were doing a pretty good job up until now. It's just unnecessary. And I do believe that brands do watch these videos and I do believe they will come out with fragrance-free lines. Um, and so I'd probably wait for the fragrance-free version before you start applying this, especially if you've got any form of inflammation on the skin. If you've got acne, if you've got eczema, dermatitis, any of these things, you don't want to be adding something that can lead to contact dermatitis. Okay, so if you've got scars, the active ingredients that you want in your skincare they are things like alpha arbutin, kojic acid, or kojic dipalmitate. It's actually even better. It's an ester for skin, which is better for skin of color because it doesn't cause so much irritation. You would also want to have a combination of antioxidants such as green tea extract, um, tocopher acetate is great as well. You'd also want silicones in order to be occlusive. So I like that about bio oil is that it was occlusive and it does prevent trans epidermal water loss. You'd also want skin restorers because you are trying to restore skin when you're trying to treat a scar. So you'd want things like ceramides, peptides, um, hyaluronic acid in order to uh, create a healing environment for the skin. And if you want to create a product or buy a product for stretch marks, the things I would want in there is I'd want a vitamin A, but I'd want retinaldehyde. Um, I want good skin soothers. So things like aloe vera, D-panthenol, uh, they're great for the skin. Also green tea extracts, another good one. I'd want skin restorers as well. So I'd want hyaluronic acid. I'd want your ceramides. I want peptides. Now, the reason why these sorts of complex um, formulations don't exist is because they are very difficult to create so they can be quite unstable especially if you're mixing acids together and they're also very expensive so i purchased retinaldehyde for my clinic so i'm a formulator and i produce um, all our creams for pigmentation for the hyperpigmentation clinic in fact you can follow me on instagram at the hyperpigmentation clinic you'll see your before and afters but I, I formulate with about 30% actives for skin of colour and it took me years to stabilise a product, let alone get to a point where we're getting good results. So this is really key and I think this is one of the reasons why we don't have much skincare for skin of colour is because number one, it's very difficult to um, formulate with very high percentage actives and second of all, the ingredients themselves are very expensive. So you know, retinaldehyde, one milligram is costing me a thousand pounds, for example. So it's extremely expensive compared to a retinol, which is cheap, and retinol palmitate, which is, you know, pennies. I do believe it's all going to start changing with education. And that's why I love filming for this channel, um, because you are becoming educated by the day. You know, you're asking me very in-depth questions that honestly, if you went to a doctor, they probably wouldn't be able to answer. I'm really grateful for you. I'm so grateful that you've put your faith in me and that you listen and that you are doing all the correct things for your skin. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I have created a free guide for you down below. The link is down below. I know most of you have already downloaded. Um, if you want me to make more free guides for you, please can you let me know what you want those guides on, um, which brands you want me to film for you next. And um, if there's anything else that you want from me, please can you write them down below. I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video to answer as many questions as I can. Thank you very much.